Hey everybody, so you're looking at the Ozbot tail. This is a smart camera that can automatically track humans. It's built by a Chinese startup and it just launched in CES in Las Vegas. Obviously, I'm not in Vegas right now. I'm back in my apartment in Hong Kong, but I got a chance to test this camera. Obviously, as you can see, I have it on me right now and it is pretty damn awesome. So let's talk to specs. The camera system here actually is a Sony system. It has 10 optical lenses inside, four of which are Hoya lenses. So the 10 lenses combine to allow you to shoot 3.5 times optical zoom and record videos at up to 4K 60 frames per second. If you shoot photos, obviously you can go up to 12 megapixel photos. So the camera's tracking system isn't just the basic face detection stuff that you find in a smartphone. Instead, it uses a complex AI algorithm to recognize not just faces, but body shape and posture. So this is why as you can see here, the camera is able to track onto me even if I've stepped behind my girlfriend and step back out, it will continue to follow me. Like it didn't get confused and start tracking my girlfriend instead because it recognized me, it recognized that I'm a little bit uh, fat and she isn't. So they know that, you know, not to follow that. So I had a lot of fun playing with this thing. I'm like running in circles and like ducking and jumping around and the camera's tracking me the whole time. In fact, the tracking system is so good, it managed to track an NBA player while he's on the court with nine other dudes on TV. I mean, check it out. It's tracking Clint Capella right now as he's cutting to the basket. Like it knows to differentiate Clint Capella from the other dudes on the court. So all this is possible because the camera has a really advanced AI chipset inside. It's the Kirin 3559A. So you already follow my channel, you know what the Kirin um, chipset is it's basically Huawei's AI chipset and the 3559A as used in the camera right now it's the most powerful one that's why it's able to recognize my face recognize my body and basically follow me around the house you can start shooting with this camera in standalone format all you have to do is power it on and it will automatically begin tracking the first thing it sees and then you can use hand gestures, hand signals, such as like a V or like a Spider-Man hand signal to tell the camera to start recording or start zooming in. All of these is programmable, so you can have any gesture that you like in theory. But the best way to use this camera is to pair it with the companion app, which is available on both iOS and Android. Once you pair with the app, it opens up a flood of shooting options, such as the ability to lock onto just your upper body, or your lower body if you want to do that, it's a little bit weird. Shoot time-lapse videos or apply filters. So all the video is stored in external storage via a micro SD card. And there is also a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack for plugging in an external mic. In fact, a mic comes with a camera. So this thing doesn't have an internal mic, so you have to plug in the mic to record sound naturally. So the camera is obviously ideal for vloggers, people who love being in front of the camera. I'm not one of those people to be honest, but even then I had a lot of fun with it. Like I said, I was like running in circles trying to lose the camera and it managed to track me the entire time and things like a Terminator. So I can totally imagine a vlogger would place his camera down somewhere on a tripod and just stand in front of it and they can talk all day, walk around all day and the camera will follow them and shoot 4K, 60, stabilized, smooth videos. Battery life is pretty good too. The Osbot tail can shoot video continuously for 150 minutes. And the whole thing is very portable. It weighs 1.3 pounds. That's about 610 grams. So you can obviously place it on any flat surface. You can put it on a tripod or you can even just hold it in your hand and just point it at your face. The Osbot tail is going to launch on crowdfunding on January 16th. I don't know the platform yet. It could be Indiegogo, it could be Kickstarter. I don't know, but it'll be January 16th. As for the price, even the company hasn't decided on the price yet, but they've told me that the early bird price will be roughly around the ballpark of 500 US dollars. After that, the price might go up. So if you're interested in this, $500, I think it's a pretty good deal considering the lens is good and this thing can really track you around. Like you don't need someone to hold a camera for you anymore if you're shooting videos in front of like a building or in front of a setting or backdrop or something. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm gonna have more videos coming up. I have a lot of products to test. Thanks for watching.